A man has L.A. firefighters and paramedics to thank for saving his life when he went into cardiac arrest. He got to thank them in person today. New at 5, Eyewitness News reporter Ashley Mackey has the reunion. 52-year-old Anthony Toronto got a second chance at life thanks to the heroic efforts of the Los Angeles City firefighters and paramedics from Station 62. Toronto was complaining of chest pain, and when the first responders arrived, they witnessed him go into cardiac arrest. I never thought something like this would happen to me. I've lived in this community for 15, 16 plus years. I hear sirens all day and night. I never thought they'd be coming to respond to my house, but I'm sure glad they did. On Wednesday, the LAFD members responsible for saving him and some of their family were able to meet Toronto, something they say rarely happens. We have successes all the time, but we never actually get these reunifications, you know, and so morale-wise and just, you know, satisfaction of like, man, I changed this person's life. I did well, and I get to meet him again. He gets to meet my family. It's, it's huge. Toronto says he's made some lifestyle changes and has followed his doctor's advice closely since the incident. He also says he and his son have made it a point to become CPR certified. You never know where you're going to be, whether it be yourself or a loved one that could go into cardiac arrest and you could be there to save a life. On average, LA City Fire runs over 1,500 calls a day transporting 600 patients to local hospitals. Over 85% of those calls are medical related. Fire officials say having basic medical knowledge could make a big difference. Whether it's hands-only CPR, they can join our community emergency response team and help the fire department out in our critical need during a major catastrophe or disaster. So there's a lot of opportunities out there for the community to be engaged. In Mar Vista, Ashley Mackey, ABC7 Eyewitness News.